So today we have legs. And again, we are starting it off with squats. I love starting off every single leg day with squats. It just gets the most development out of the legs. It's the most intense. And just getting a compound exercise in first before anything else just makes the, the rest of the workout that much better for legs. For this, we did five sets of 15. Typically, I do five sets of 20, but with how low my body is on glycogen and energy, 20 reps was not gonna happen regardless of the drop in weight that I did. You see, I had to stop every now and again just to get the energy back, replenish the ATP in the muscles to get the set done. That is okay if you do that. You can take more than two, two breaths if you want, but try to make it so you're just going up and down, up and down, not stopping at all in between the reps. After this, you do not do cardio acceleration. It is intense enough. Trust me, if you try to do it, you're going to go flat on your face and you're probably going to be done for the rest of the day. You still want to have somewhat of energy for the rest of the workout. And here we did split squats where I'm holding, looks like a 25 pound uh, weight in my arms. We did four sets of 12 on this and cardio acceleration was running in place in between each set. After you do 12 reps on one leg, go and do the other. Switch right away. Now for this one, you wanna make sure that your knee that you're standing on is not going over your toe, otherwise it's gonna put a lot of stress on your knee and you're gonna get knees that are as bad as mine one day. So keep it back enough so that way it's not going over your toe. You're keeping the weight in the heel. Next exercise was lying hamstring curl. We're doing four sets of 12 on this and for cardio acceleration in between the sets, we went ahead and did shoulder taps where I'm in a push-up position and I'm switching back and forth between my hands touching the opposite shoulder, putting that hand down, touching the opposite shoulder again in between the sets. And this one focus on really squeezing the hamstrings, get a good pump out of this. And also see, I'm not grabbing the handlebars, I go underneath, just so that way I focus more on the hamstrings. Otherwise, I feel it more on my lower back for whatever reason, I hate it. Next exercise is a superset between seated hamstring curls and leg extensions. We started off with the hamstring curls, four sets of 15, and I couldn't go really too heavy at this point just because it's lighting the workout and energy is extremely, extremely low, especially if you're following the diet as you should be. You're not going to have all the energy in the world and your strength is going to go down a lot. But right away when you're done with this, you go right away into the lay extensions. As little rest as possible. I'm just grabbing the water bottle, putting it on the ground, and I'm getting right back into the machine. Now, one thing with leg extensions is you can angle your toes to work different parts of your leg. Because you see here, I have my toes kind of angled in, and that's going to work more of my outer quads. It's going to focus more on that vastus lateralis. If you go neutral with your toes, you're going to work more erectus femoris, your vastus intermedius. You do your toes pointed out, you're going to work more of the vastus medialis. Just a little helpful tip for you guys there. And we're finishing off legs with seated calves, calf raises. Four sets of 20 on this. You see I'm pausing at the top just so that way I can get more of a squeeze out of it. Also, we did cardio acceleration, mountain climbers. I'm getting a good squeeze out of this at the top just so that way I'm focusing more on the calves because otherwise if you go just up and down, up and down really quickly, then it's gonna work more your Achilles tendon. But you see here, I have no choice but to go quickly to get the reps out and that's okay because you're already burning and you're going through hell already and it's gonna work the muscle. So it's not gonna be too much stress on the tendon. But that is it for the workout. I will see you all tomorrow.